Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. <sighs> Told you so. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just had to get that. No, actually, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about this. This is a dismal day for Disney. Disney had to settle with the state of Florida, and it looks like a lot of the uh, deals that Disney had, had uh, dealt itself before the DeSantis takeover of Reedy Creek are getting walked back. Yeah. Uh-oh. We'll explain it in a minute. Before we get into it any further. Before we get into it any further, please, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, so this is pretty big news because uh, a lot of people thought this was going to drag on for years and that Disney was going to be victorious, that Disney was going to come in and they were going to destroy Ron DeSantis and they were going to take back Reedy Creek and for the honor of Mickey, they but were going to win. Let's go back even further. Okay, so when this whole thing started, um, that was when DeSantis, the governor of Florida, decided that he was going to you know, nullify Reedy Creek and turn it into the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District, okay? And the reason was because, let's be honest here, Disney was running Reedy Creek. Everybody knew it. And they were kind yes. of just like giving themselves their own, you know, deals and everything. You know, when they went in, the, in they, they were supposed to go through processes, but they, they owned the, the board. So mm -hmm. they just ran it through and everybody agreed with what they'd want and they get what they wanted. Yes. Well, when they knew DeSantis was going to do this, they passed some like last minute bull crap in their, in their meeting before the, the takeover happened. And so they put some expiration terms. Like they 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 were wanting to keep all their they're making it set up that they got to keep all the power they thought and all that the new board could do was like do like maintenance of roads and crap like that. Yeah. So they said they said expiration terms of the agreement, Disney invoked an obscure property law known as rule against perpetuities, setting the date for twenty one years after the death of the last survivor of the descendants of King Charles the Fourth. King of England living as of the date in this declaration. Yeah. This essentially makes Disney the government. Um, this Ron Perry board member said, the board loses for practical purposes the majority of its ability to do anything beyond maintain the roads and maintain basic infrastructure. So they made this like last minute 11th hour sweetheart deal. And then they had the board who were their own people vote to support it. So basically trying to keep the power in a, in a very underhanded kind of way. Yes. And this led to a lawsuit. Yes, and that lawsuit has been settled, and I know a lot of Disney defenders kept saying that, no, DeSantis is wrong, because they don't like DeSantis, personally. Because well, there's Matt, because like, Disney's going to win, Disney always Disney's, wins. Disney always wins. We're going to win in the end. Maybe and, five years ago. Yeah, uh, no, they, they lost, and Reedy Creek, uh, as it is now, whatever the hell they call it now, the Central, the Central Florida Tourism, Tourism Oversight, Oversight District. District for people who live in Florida and like to go to the theme parks. And can't read too good. Yeah, that is staying. That is staying intact. And uh, Disney's basically gonna have to start over. That's that's what it reads like to me. That's how it reads to me too. So they said that um, first of all, they have Jeff Vale, which is the Disney World uh, Resort president, said this agreement opens a new chapter of constructive engagement with the new leadership of the district and serves the interests of all parties by enabling significant continued investment in the creation of thousands of direct and indirect jobs and economic opportunity in the state. <laughs> you could have had constructive engagement before. They wanted to work with you then. And then you deliberately did everything you could to give them the middle finger which led to two years of this bull. Well, it's not been two years, like what a year of this. bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think this is funny. So this has come from the AP and this is about the, uh, the quote unquote, quote unquote, don't say gay bill and Disney stepping into that. And they really mm -hmm. had no, no place to step into that. They're an entertainment company, but as punishment for Disney's opposition to the law, DeSantis took over the governing district through legislation passed by the Republican controlled Florida legislature and appointed a new board of supervisors. Disney sued DeSantis's appointees claiming the company's free speech rights were violated. A federal judge dismissed that lawsuit in January. Yeah. And here's the thing. It's like, Look, you know, do I think DeSantis did this because of, of reasons he's mad about? Yes. Yeah. I think they should have done something about Reedy Creek years before because Reedy Creek basically had way too much power and they were and they were not being able to be playing by the same rules as their con competitors were. And I don't think that was right. The Reedy Creek, what it was meant to be and what it ended up being were two different things. Reedy Creek was was created so Disney could fast track the creation of Epcot. Uh, but they were going to make it like a city. It was going to be an actual city. So they're like, well, we need our own basically city, state planning, whatever. And they, at that point in time, and it was, I believe, the Democrats that let them do it. I don't know. But they were like, you know, 
we got to get Disney down here. They got to get going. We don't need any red tape. And that's that's why they did it. And then they basically abused it. Well, they just like, got to keep not having red tape. They just yeah. they, they were their own entity. And it's yes. okay, except that that gave them power they shouldn't have had. It was and the Vatican, basically. Basically. They were a city state, yeah. And, and the thing is, it's like other competitors didn't have the same opportunities. And he's basically said he was trying to make sure that there was an equal playing field. I think that... They could have changed it years before and didn't until Disney went against them and then they made an effort to change it. But that's yeah. neither here nor there. They are changing it. So Disney, of course, tried to sue because they they were immediately questioning the 11th hour deal they did because it was really shitty. I mean, they literally went in and they're like, you know, ha, 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 we won, we beat you. They did something really underhanded, put in these, these, these caveats that were – and time limits that were stupid – and were really underhanded, and they did it because they knew they were going to lose their power, yes. which is you know self dealing, and you're not allowed to be doing self dealing because everybody knows as, as much as Disney said, oh the Reedy Creek you know improvement district was its own thing, and they're supposed to you know we're supposed to go through them, but everybody knows that Disney owned Reedy Creek. There were emails that came out, I don't have them in front of me, but we did other videos on it. Um, that were released at one of the meetings, and the emails showed that the lawyers for Disney were writing some of the things that were being done and then yes. putting their names on it or yes. like put, or put other people's names on it. So it didn't look bad on yes. Disney, yes. but they were writing some of the stuff themselves. So clearly they were the ones in charge of the district. Otherwise, why the hell would they be writing this stuff? Kind of, kind of like George Lucas's statement supporting Bob Iger. In my yeah. Opinion. Well, it felt like it, he yeah. didn't write it. Yeah. He just read it. Yeah. So they, they, they did what they did and it didn't, it didn't hold up. Because no. they said Disney filed counterclaims that include asking the state to declare the agreements. They wanted valid, enforceable agreements. They wanted paid money for you know the issues they had since that. Yeah. And they wanted everything that 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 the governor did to be completely uh, d d dissolved, mm -hmm. and he had to pay the legal fees. And the court said no. So under the term of Wednesday settlement agreement, Disney – it's a settlement agreement. Disney let stand a determination by the board of DeSantis appointees that the comprehensive plan approved by the Disney supporters before the takeover are null and void. The self-dealing the self -dealing shit. Yeah. Disney also agrees that the development agreement and restrictive covenants – these are the restrictive covenants – passed before the takeover are also not valid according to the settlement terms. Self-dealing bullshit. And instead, a comprehensive plan from 2020 will be used with the new board able to make changes to it. Yes. And the agreement suggests Disney and new board will negotiate a new development agreement in the near future. So after all that shit, they're going to work out something where Disney is going to have to do what they were supposed to do with Reedy Creek and have an oversight district and work within the rules everybody else has to work with yes. to move forward on building stuff. And now, as soon as they get that worked out, we might start seeing more announcements for things coming to Walt Disney World. Yeah, that that might be part of the reason why they're not. I mean, beyond the fact they don't have any damn money, but well, they could, have to get this worked out. They couldn't. They couldn't say, "Hey, we're going to build a fifth gate." They don't know if they can build a fifth gate. They got to get permission. Mother well, they May just I. chopped. Their, they just chopped themselves off the knees going after and being combative like they did. If they had just worked with it, they would have probably been well on their way to doing something else by now. But no, no, we had to spend a year with this bullshit because you know they had to go think they were all smart. So you mean that they're not going to pick Disney World up and move it to Portland? No, they were, what were they saying? North Carolina? Is North that they Carolina said they were move or something? It yeah, like, it's like you can't just, just move it, the parks. Pick it up and move it like a freaking carnival. Like, anybody who says that has never been oh my God. to Walt Disney World because you have no idea how big this place it is. It is a city. It is a city. It's massive. And even if you can move individual attractions, which they very seldom do, they did move the Carousel of Progress from California to Florida years and years ago. They don't really do that anymore, though. Not really. They like, just make a clone of it. and the Yeah, it's too. easier just to build it again than it is yeah. to try to move it. But yeah, because, I mean, you're talking, you know, the queue and then they have, uh, you know, underground portions and then the infrastructure. You cannot move Walt Disney World. Uh, people, I, I cannot believe that people were seriously, and they were, they were seriously entertaining the idea that Disney should just move out of Florida. Nye, 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 nye. Isn't it weird, though, that they're settling this the week before the big vote next week? It is interesting. Isn't it weird? Like, let's, it is. Let's, but, they, but they didn't win. They're like, oh, they, it's a settlement and Disney still wins. Disney's not winning. What they're winning is they're going to you know, renegotiate a contract to work with Disney, which is what they wanted to do to begin with. They said, the new board said... When they came in, they wanted to work with Disney because, you know, Disney brings a lot of jobs and a lot of money to the area. So they don't want Disney to fail. They just want Disney to have oversight. 
and be on the same playing field as everybody else. And, and oh, no, they're, they're, they're terrible. They're trying to make them fail. And Disney's right. Disney showed them. Ha, ha. Disney never loses. Well, Disney lost twice, once in January and once again here. Yeah, they, they, they've lost. They're, they're, they've lost. DeSantis won, like, 100%. And they're going to have to work with the state now, just like every other theme park well, company in the state. God damn, they're on a roll. Now if you can get them to pay their fair share in property taxes, you're oh just gonna, I mean, if they can pull that off this year too, I'm just going to crap myself because I, I won't believe it. Yeah, I think things are going to change. I don't think Disney is quite the uh, quite the powerhouse that they were before. And, you know, th- this is a this is a huge blow for them because they basically they had Florida in their back pocket. And mm-hmm. I think they still might on some level, but not to the extent they did before. Well, and yeah, because they still the Florida is still going to play ball with them because they yeah, are a, a big employer. employer. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're one of the biggest employers in the state. That's true. And they're also promising this huge investment in the area. Um which I think they still will do somewhat. I don't think to the level they expect. I think the seventeen billion he pulled out of his ass a long time ago. Because they even said that of that sixty billion, he said they doubled it up to, which was way after he said seventeen billion just for Florida. Um, of that, only thirty billion is going towards making new things at parks across all their parks. So no matter how you divide that up, there wasn't going to be seventeen billion for Florida anyway. No. Yeah. Yeah, bullshit, like we said. Uh, so, so It's going to be interesting to see how people spin this like, wow, well, Disney just, they just backed off because they don't want to be bought, you know, bogged down with the, po- it's like, no, there's too much at stake. They have backed they they, all the money for the lawsuit. They probably, yeah, they probably have money for the lawsuit, but no, they, they did it because they knew they were not going to win. It was going to tie things up for and years. And they want to move forward and put new stuff in. Yeah. Because no matter what, Epic Universe is coming for the next year. Yes. And I'm sorry, Smellifins on Parade is, and, yes. and like some overlays. And a new Encanto show isn't going to save them from Epic Universe. But there are new songs at Country Bear Jam. I know, hot damn. But oh none God. of that's going to save them. Three new films at, at Star Tours yeah. isn't going to be enough. Based they need, on Disney Plus shows that nobody gives a crap about. No, yeah, I know. Yeah. They need to announce something big. And they have announced something, but they actually have to have the approval to move forward. And even though you announce, it doesn't mean you have the approval. And if you're fighting legally with the people that you need to work with to get approval, it's probably going to slow you down a tad bit. I'm just saying. So here we are. They they won. Disney lost. Yep. You know, they're trying to say it's, it's mutually, you know, mutually good for everybody. And it might be, but they, they still lost. That's, they lost. All right. So there it is. We're going to wrap this one up. Yes. Uh, Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.